Today we'll be interviewing one of the captured members from the Schutzstaffel. So what are the different branches of the Schutzstaffel? There are four main branches of the Schutzstaffel. The Totenkopfverbände, which means the Dead Skulls, was the first one. The Security Services, the Sicherheitspolizei, the Einsatzgruppen, which means the Task Forces, and the Special Protection Units. Who was the SS loyal to and how did it start? The SS, the Schutzstaffel, unlike the Standard Army, was loyal only and specifically to Hitler. It started originally when Hitler wanted a bodyguard group. What were the responsibilities of the SS? The responsibilities of the Totenkopfverbände was mainly the concentration camps and the running of them. The uh, Sicherheitspolizei was mainly responsible for suppressing resistance to Hitler through the security forces like the Gestapo. And the Einsatzgruppe, which was the task forces, went into occupied areas and eliminated potential threats and killed potential dangerous people. And the special protection units was the original purpose of the um, SS, which was to be bodyguards for Hitler. How did the Schutzstaffel carry out the Nazi scare tactics among the civilians? Mainly by being the main force for doing the work of the Nazis. They threw people into concentration camps and ran the concentration camps, as well as beating them through the Gestapo, which, which destroyed all resistance to the Nazis. New countries also that were under their control were immediately brought into submission by beating people that were under resistance of the Nazis. How did the SS help the Nazis rise to power? The SS brought Hitler protection, carried out his final solution, and prevented other conquered countries from resisting through scare tactics. They were the principal force completing Hitler's overall plan.